In 2012, Tesla made one of the most crucial moves in the history of the entire company. It opened its first supercharging stations in California. This supercharger network, which now spans across the globe and numbers nearly 3,500 stations, is what's made electric car ownership a practical reality. For decades, experts contended that one of the key barriers to full-scale EV adoption by the masses would be charging limitations, sometimes referred to as range anxiety. After all, who wants to buy an EV that can only travel short distances and require multiple hours to recharge? Tesla realized early on that fast charging, and a lot of it, would be key to creating a market that would allow the average consumer to replace their gas vehicles with electric. While other automakers continue to struggle to design, build, and manufacture EVs, relying solely on government or privately funded charging stations to charge their vehicles, Tesla has quite literally charged ahead of the competition by building its own worldwide infrastructure and has rapidly expanded its proprietary supercharger network across North America, Europe, the Middle East, and Asia. The Tesla Supercharger Network was first announced in 2012 with six supercharging stations in California. This network has grown immensely since then, growing exponentially each and every year since. Today, Tesla operates nearly 3,500 supercharger stations. On average, it's estimated that each supercharger station costs Tesla nearly $250,000 to build, and they each feature on average about 10 supercharger stalls also known as charging points, which means that over the last 10 years alone, Tesla has spent just under $1 billion to construct a network composed of nearly 350,000 charging stalls across the world. Tesla's initial goal with its thousands of supercharger stations was to enable freedom of travel for Tesla owners at a fraction of the cost of gasoline. For example, a Tesla Model Y featuring a 75 kilowatt hour battery at current electricity prices will cost around 20 bucks to charge. Contrast this with the cost to fill an average size SUV at today's gasoline prices, and a consumer saves nearly $80 per fill-up. While free supercharging used to be a major perk of Tesla ownership, as it used to be free for the life of ownership of the vehicle, these savings of $80 per fill-up are not insignificant. It's estimated that over the life of the average Tesla, that an owner will save at least $15,000 in fuel costs alone. Further enticing full-scale EV adoption, Tesla superchargers stand out because they are strategically located along major routes near convenient amenities and major corridors across the globe to help Tesla owners keep their vehicles charged at all times when away from home. So how does a Tesla supercharger actually work? It's actually quite simple. First step is to locate a supercharger stall in your area using your interactive in-car navigation system. The automaker has made locating its charging stations quite simple. All Tesla supercharger stations are displayed on the interactive map on Tesla's in-car navigation system. This way, drivers can locate charging stations along their driving route, know which stations are the closest, and even get an estimate of how much juice their car will have upon arrival. Tesla also makes it possible to see information about a selected charging station, such as charging speed and availability, is also displayed on the navigation system, so you can decide whether to use a charging station or not. Once you've located your charging station, you pull in, assuming there are no lines, which has been a major issue as of late. Park and plug in. Once plugged in, the charge port LED will flash green, indicating that the charging has started. Using your Tesla app, you can monitor charge status and receive notifications once your charge is complete. Don't have your credit card on you? Not to worry, as everything is charged through the Tesla app. This begs the question, how much does it cost to use a supercharger? Tesla charging stations were free until 2017. However, this has changed and it does cost a little bit to charge your Tesla. Pricing is mostly billed on a per kilowatt hour basis where possible. Though some locations require you to pay per minute, in situations where Tesla must bill based on charging time per minute, the company uses four tiered systems which are based on charging speeds. What this means is that you pay lower per minute if your charging speed is slower and higher if your charging speed is faster. While charging prices can vary widely, the cost depends primarily on a few major factors including location, time, price of electricity, and the charge speed. Tesla also has a few other ways to still receive free charging, including its referral program where Tesla promises up to 1,000 miles of free supercharging per person you refer to Tesla. 
or it occasionally runs specials where vehicle purchases will include free supercharging as it did in December 2020, where all purchases of Model 3 and Model Y vehicles received one free year of supercharging. In July 2021, Tesla dropped a bombshell that it would be opening its supercharger stations to other electric vehicle brands. By opening its supercharger network to non-Tesla owners, Tesla gains access to nearly $7.5 billion in federal EV funding, recently announced by the Biden administration. The move, applauded by non-Tesla EV owners seeking alternative charging options, is causing quite a stir for Tesla owners who are already experiencing longer than expected wait times at Tesla's charging stations given recent large-scale EV adoption. Constantly seeking to ensure charging infrastructure keeps up with the EV adoption and to avoid the long lineups currently plaguing numerous charging stations across the world, Tesla has been on a steady network expansion plan for years. In 2020, Tesla opened a mammoth 72-stall supercharger station in Shanghai, China, making it Asia's largest Tesla charging station. The automaker is also planning to expand to a massive 80-stall supercharger station in Harris Ranch, California, which would make it the largest charging station in the world. During a recent conference call, Tesla indicated that it wants to triple the size of its global supercharging network within the next two years, and it's even recently announced a new futuristic diner or drive-in theater supercharging station for the Hollywood area. This network expansion will be critical as Tesla aims to stay ahead of its competitors. So who are Tesla's biggest competitors? When it comes to fast charging stations, Tesla is light years ahead of its rivals. Electrify America and ChargePoint are the largest and most popular after Tesla. Compared to Tesla's 3,500 supercharger networks, ChargePoint, an independent electric vehicle charging company, has about 2,020 DC fast charging points while Volkswagen-owned Electrify America has about 2,000 DC fast charging points. Aside from ChargePoint and Electrify America, other Tesla supercharger rivals include EV Connect, Blink Charging, and EVGo, which has announced its partnership with General Motors and Uber. Currently, EVGo has around 800 fast charging stations, and General Motors is planning to add to that by building over 2,700 fast charging stations over the next five decades. What do you think about the Tesla supercharger network? Do you think Tesla and other companies will be able to build infrastructure fast enough to meet demand? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah.